Welcome back. It is time to have a little fun with all our cold and snowy weather. Chemical Kim is here and she did hit Rory. Come on now. All right, Chemical Kim is here to show us the science behind melting snow and ice. Thank yes. you for doing that. Just before yes, we yes, came yes. out, I said, I dare you, hit it Rory. That's right. Okay, well, we're going to make some snow because we have to have snow, right, Catherine? Yes. So um, here, just hold that. Hold this? Yep, and the magic okay. of science, we got to make lots and lots and lots of snow. I In love order when you to do this. talk about snow science, right? Yes. I mean, what better way to talk about snow science than to use warmer snow? Of course, this is fake snow that yeah, I'm making. Yeah, but it's so fun. But it's so fun. fun. Yes. yes, it's like, it's snowing, it's snowing here <laughs> on Take 5. How fantastic is that? Terrific. But um, we're actually going to talk about something called snow melt, which, you know, I think is an important time of year to talk about it because of the roads. And I was actually at the store the other day, overheard a daughter and father, and the father said, why are they not throwing salt on the road? Doesn't work, right, at a certain time? Exactly, and the daughter knew that. She's uh. like, Dad, it's too cold out. <laughs> So anyway, um, what we do is, as you know, using science to kind of explain this, there are four very common materials that we put on the roads. Most common is sodium chloride. Okay. And the, the temperature for this to be effective is around 20 degrees, 15, 20 degrees, depending okay. on how much we have in the water solution. And that's that bigger, chunkier kind of Exactly. Stuff. This is, yeah, this is considered rock salt. Okay, okay. Good, good. And that's what the road crews use. Okay, and then within the stores, in terms of people buying it for their sidewalks, yeah. they can buy anything from magnesium chloride to calcium chloride to potassium chloride. Now, why the differences? They're all different temperatures, and environmentally, some are a little bit more friendly. Oh, okay. okay? Now, in terms of friendly to the concrete cement, it really has no difference based on what you're using because what's ruining the cement and concrete is that freeze thaw that goes on oh. with regard to melting mm -hmm. the snow. Yeah. So we're going to look at two common, um, the, the rock salt, which is the sodium chloride, yes. and then the calcium chloride, and looking at the science between the two and why would one be more effective than the other. Yeah. Okay. Road crews use this one. Many people buy this for the sidewalks. Yes. Okay. What's interesting about the calcium chloride, and we'll see that we'll see this scientifically, and to visually see it, you're going to okay, make it blue, so we get a. Actually, yeah. we're going to make this one red because oh, this one okay. warms up. Okay. okay. And oh, what you're going to do is mix in some of that calcium chloride okay. into that solution of water. Like how That's much? Just water. How it's, much? Um, just until it settles to the bottom, and then you're, you can mix it up. Okay. And you're basically saturating it, which yes. basically puts as much into a solution as possible. Yes. And you'll see a rise in temperature because okay. what's taking place is that's an exothermic reaction. 32, 34, 36, 37 degrees, 39, 40. And that's Celsius. That's okay. Celsius. Okay, wow, 42. And that 42. started at room temperature, which is around 21, 22 degrees Celsius. Uh -huh. Okay. Wow. So it's exothermic, which means it releases heat as it warms up. Nice, okay. okay, good. Now, the other important science with regards to snow melt, and I will actually put some snow here in the cups that we can real demonstrate snow. this, real snow, is that you have to have water present in your snow in order for this material to be effective, uh -huh. okay? Because what it does is it lowers the freezing point, okay? okay? It's not necessarily making this warmer, it's not. Okay. It's lowering the temperature at which the snow will freeze. Okay. Okay. So the calcium chloride, which we'll utilize it already in the water. Yes. Okay. And I'll add a little bit of blue because the temperature did not change here with the sodium chloride. And it is effective in water. Okay. Snow at a certain temperature still has a bit of water in it. Yeah. So that's why if your temperature is 15, 20 degrees, you can still throw rock salt. Yeah. Okay. Calcium chloride, negative 20. So you can put some of this down. If you want to make it more effective, do what we're doing and add water to it okay. because you're already putting it into. Look at me, I beat you. Look Minus, at that. Yeah. Look how fast. Well, it was amazing. This because is like I nuked this. In exactly, the exactly. Okay, so, but there's the alternative, Gone. this material called magnesium. This is the sodium chloride, but there's this material called the magnesium chloride, okay, which is very similar to the calcium. It doesn't get as low as negative 22. This is around negative 15. Uh -huh. um, but again, maybe the alternative because it's not as harsh to the environment. Yes. So magnesium chloride 
And when you'll find the ice de-icers de in a liquid form, yes. it really is just these materials dissolved in water for you already. So and are they all hard on your shoes? Oh, That's what I want to know. Well, that, you know, another interesting thing, urea. You could use urea, which is um, a, a fertilizer. Yeah. Well, you're walking on the sidewalk with the calcium chloride and the sodium chloride. You walk into your home, and then you're walking on your carpets, and that's going onto your carpets. Yes, I know. So the question is, is that good? Well, it just precipitates, it dries out, and then you have your solid that you can sweep up. So it's not there too bad. There you go. Right? All right. You want more activities from Chemical Kim? You may find them on our website, wzzm13.com, under Take 5 Links.